Well, I tell you what, whether you're an avid coyote or varmint hunter, or simply enjoy plinking at the range with one of your favorite rim fires, owning a quality piece of glass shouldn't always cost a fortune. At least that's my view. Today, we're gonna take a look at a great new optic from True Glow that'll satisfy the needs of sportsmen and a wide variety of hunting applications. Let's head inside and see what the True Bright Hunter is all about. True Glow's new True Bright Hunter 30 really is one of the most versatile optics available today, and it can be had for right around $100. It's loaded with features, and it's a one to four power scope with a 30 millimeter tube for increased brightness in all light conditions. Now it features a 3.75 inch eye relief, while fully coated lenses provide maximum brightness, clarity, and contrast. Now the scope also is going to feature adjustments for windage and elevation in half MOA clicks. It's nitrogen gas filled, waterproof and fog proof, so it can take whatever elements you're willing to take it out into. It features weaver style bases, and we'll show you how to mount those in just a minute, and it features a circle duplex reticle. One of the great benefits of a one to four power scope is it's gonna give you versatility. So whether you wanna take it muzzle loading, uh, you wanna use it on your Predator rifle, uh, it's really great for any of those applications. And we've seen more and more of the one to four or one to six power scopes on the market. So in order to mount this, uh, you can see on the rifle here, we've got a Picatinny rail, and then we've got Weaver style uh, rings on the scope as well. Very, very simple. What you're gonna to wanna to do is just place this on here. You can get up on the scope, uh, and make sure to adjust the uh, optic as fits your body and your face so that you get your eye and you can see a full crosshair with no black around the edges. And then of course you'll also adjust the eye relief once you have that set. Uh, once the scope is where you would uh, desire it, all you gotta do is tighten these little screws down. And they have little holes in the side of them where you can uh, use either an Allen wrench or they're gonna fit a uh, metric socket there and you can tighten them down as you should. Very, very simple, easy to do. If you wanna move the scope a little bit inside the rings, of course you can loosen the mounting screws on top here and move the scope uh, forward or back as you see fit. Again, that's gonna depend on your particular body type and how your eyes work. Well, now that we've got our optic mounted, it's time to check zero and make adjustments on our 100 yard target. Now for my purposes, I'll simply zero the rifle and optic so it's dead on at 100 yards. And remember, one MOA at 100 yards is roughly equivalent to one inch, so one click on the one half MOA adjustment should move you about one half inch on paper. Let's see how it shoots. Well, I tell you what, checking out accuracy results here at the 100 yard range, really happy with what I'm seeing from the scope. Uh, we sighted in here, we were about four inches left of center and three inches high. Made a few adjustments on those turrets, really everything moved precisely. Uh, we got right at about zeroed at 100 yards and we got three shots well under the 0.8 inch marker, which is absolutely fantastic, especially when you consider that that scope, the True Bright Hunter 30, is well under the $150 price range. Now with these results and with this accuracy, I'm fully confident the True Bright 130 can get the job done when your trophy is on the line. For more information on this great optic, check out gundigest.com.